Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is uh, ITS128, and uh, today's uh, November 18th. Let me share my screen. And uh, where are we? Let's go to syllabus. Is this, was that this yesterday? I think so. Uh, 8.5 is where we left off. Better get moving here. Have I done? Have I done any of the labs yet in chapter eight? I don't think so. All right, well, let's keep moving here. 8.5. Oh, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is when I'm yeah, done. Yeah, we, we didn't do any lab here. Okay. How did I get this back here? So um, as soon, we'll be done with lists. Oh, dictionary. Wow. Okay. Um, all right, I'll, I'll dive into some. Maybe I'll dive into a couple labs today just to get started with that because this is going kind of slow. Maybe I'll stop talking. So maybe I'll shorten up how much I talk. All right, so here, here we're talking about slicing lists and it would be like what you'd think, uh, just like for strings, for slicing strings or slicing lists, except for uh, the in the, you're, you're doing indexes here, just like you're doing indexes of strings. But, so, uh, you know, you can slice out the first zero, one, sl slice out the first two. Uh, this sl slices out the, not the first one, but the second and the third. So um, that's list slicing, just like list strings. Uh, it's like what you think. Negative in indexes, just like strings, it's it starts it gets negative. It starts from the end and goes uh, right to left. It starts at the top and goes left to right, uh, right to left instead of left to right. So this goes from zero <coughs> all the way up to the second of the last one because this is <coughs> the second of the last one. And. Uh, so this goes from the, you know, you know, the, whatever, the third, you know, not the last one, but this is the second of the last one. So it's like fourth of the last one to the second of the last one, something like that. So it's, uh, it's including in this one and then this one and this one. No. Oh, no, wait a second. No, we don't include the last one. We don't include the second to last one, do we? Because we never include the top one. It goes just it goes up to just before the top. So uh, this means that this that the 2004. Wait, am I, am, am I saying this right? I don't think I'm saying this right. Uh, so this this is 2000 to 2004. So it's minus three to minus one is is two of them. If this was zero, it would include the last one. So uh, assume the following code is, has been evaluated. And what is the result of this? Nums one through five would be um, one, two, three, four. It'd be these four, I guess. List contains four elements starting at position one. What's the answer? What did I say? What did I miss? One, two, three. So was I supposed to put the braces around? That's probably what the problem is. This. Yeah, 
okay, you got to put the square brackets around it. Okay, so then we also have this stride thing, at, just like with, with strings, where we can skip every other one. For the two. So this uh, is a summary of lists, list slicing. Makes sense. Oh, this is how you go all the way to the end. All right, um, so here's a participation activity. Uh, and you can work on this till you get it. Here's a challenge, I'll do one of them. Uh, so we have this and we want my list zero colon three. So it would be, what's it, what's it gonna print? Better get the brace in there. Uh, 13 space 14 comma space 15. Okay. Gonna do zero, one, and two, and not three. I forget it's a print, so it should should put the enter. See that? Well, you can do do the rest of it. All right, let's do seven, eight point seven. Loops modifying lists. Sometimes a program iterates over a list while modifying the elements, such as by changing the elements values or by moving the elements position. The below example of changing an element's values combines the length and the range functions to iterate through the list and increment each element of the list by five. So this goes through and adds five to each of the each element in the list. So uh, we're going to be indexing here. So this is going to be the index starting with zero, looks like, because the range is from zero up to the length of the list. And so this goes from zero up to the length of the list, adding five to each. Correct way to modify a list, incorrect way. Uh, let's see, what's the difference? All right. What this is saying is that when you do it this way, you're actually writing into uh, this position of the nums list. That's not the same as this. Here, you're looping through the, the elements of the nums list. You check to see if that element is less than zero, just like you do here. But this sets num equal to zero. Well, num is not this. Num is this other variable. This is, this is a different variable. And uh, it, what the, this for loop does is uh, this is a copy. This, this is going to be a copy of first of the, of, of the one at index zero. Then the next time it's going to be a copy of the one at index one. And the next time it's going to be a copy of the, the one at index two. See, uh, num is a, is a different variable. Um, here, you are addressing the actual element in the list. See, so this, this actually sets the element, the, the element at this position, it sets that element in, in the list to zero, whereas this just sets that variable that was a copy of that element. This sets that copy of the variable equal to zero, but it doesn't set the element itself equal to zero. Okay, so that's, that's the difference between between those two ways of looping through, of, of iterating through, but if you're actually gonna to wanna to modify the list, then you gotta, you gotta actually, you know, address the list, the list element itself. So that's what this is, and this is the, the correct way. This is the incorrect way. This is the correct way. All right, let's do one. We've got that. Let's start that. For n in range, what am I supposed to print out? I think I'm going to print out 
three, five, oops, five, eight. Yes. So this is going to loop through uh, all of the starting zero all the way up to uh, uh, one minus the length of this list, zero, one, two, three. So this is going to go uh, zero, one, two, three, four. And then this is going to take uh, whatever, uh, you know, element it is at that position. It's going to divide it by two. And it's going to save that into a temporary variable. And then it's going to check to see if that, if the, um, it's going to see if that temporary variable is divisible by two. If it's divisible by two, it's going to set um, the value at that position equal to that, to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the value that was there divided by two. So what's the final value of nums one? Let's see. Num zero is, oh, they're all divisible by two, aren't they? So, oh, oh no, no, it's, first we take, uh, z, z, okay, what's one? This is nums one. Uh, what's nums one? What is 20 divided by two? It's 10. So this is gonna be 10. What's 10 mod two? That's five. I'm sorry, 10 mod two is zero. Because 10 is divisible by, is divide, you can divide 10 by zero. You can divide 10 by two. Um, uh, uh, 10 mod two is zero because it's divisible by two. So anyway, so, so that, so, um, uh, so this is going to turn into 10. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Uh, kind of confusing. Changing the list size. All right, uh, you got to use this remove, or one way of doing it, use remove method, list method. So here we have, we're going to initialize two lists. And uh, we're going to read in, uh, uh, we're going to read some numbers along, you know, like that. And then we're going to split them up, make them tokens. We're going to loop through, make them integers. So at the end, we're going to have nums one. It's going to be uh, a list of integers, this list here. And then we're going to do the same thing again. And we're going to get another list of integers. Here this is going to be nums. Two, this is going to be the nums two list, and then we're going to remove all the elements from nums one, nums one, if also in nums two. So we're going to loop through nums one. Uh, we're going to look at each one and see if that element is in nums two. If it is in nums two, we're going to take it out of nums one. So. For every value in nums one, if that value is in nums two, then we're gonna remove it. We're gonna remove that value from nums one. And then we're gonna print nums one out again. So here, uh, this is nums one, this is nums two. So uh, we're gonna loop through all of nums one. Is, is five in nums two? No, it's not. Is 10 in nums two? No, it's not. Is 15 in nums two? Yes, it is. So we're going to take 15 out. And so now all we have is five and 10. Is 20 in nums two? Yes, it is. So we should take it out. Why isn't, why is 20 here? All right, I'm going to run this. I'm going to do a ripple. 
undo rebel. R E P L. Uh, this, 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 this. Call this. Cut this whole thing. Wait, 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 is this, what is this? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, 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 I see. Oh, I know what's going on. When the 10 is removed, Okay, 10, when the 15 is removed, then uh, the 20 takes the 15 place. And um, oh, then it's gonna, then um, the 15 takes the, uh, the 20 takes the 15 place and then it's it skips so then it's going to skip the 20 because it are okay let's let's see this run this that's interesting i'm gonna see this run I about that did i paste it in already i did not okay here we go i'm gonna copy this read Here and I'm going to paste it, and I guess I'm just going to run and see. It. Oh, but I missed. Oh, I'll okay. do this. Five, ten, One thing about replica, it doesn't let you paste the copy and paste in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do you know for what reason? Uh, oh, wait. Oh, there. It, yeah, it, oh, you told um, it's, You know, sometimes if, 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 right, if, 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 if control V does not work, then try, uh, you know, you know, right clicking the mouse because that's what i just did i just right click the mouse and it pasted it in oh oh i see now now i know the trick i will try that next time yeah all right so now i'm going to hit enter and now it's going to ask me for the second number second so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to copy this all right i'm going to try to do a right click copy a copy and i'm going to go over here i'm going to right click paste oh there you go all right and deleting 15 and that's and 20 is still left okay that is very interesting you see why that is you see why 20 does I, not i don't so i don't know why we why 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 is it still there that's what I, <laughs> why is 20 still there even though we're even though 20 is here and okay so let's let's um did we ask it to delete? Yeah, we're 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 going through every value in nums, and if it's in nums two, we delete it out of nums. Oh. So, but for some reason, we end up skipping. Okay, so let's do. What time is it? We have plenty of time. Let's do um. Breakpoint. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in the uh, where's. There's a good place to put a breakpoint. I'm going to put the breakpoint right. Um, here at 18. I'll put it at 17. Okay, so um, let's do this and let's run it. Uh, 
ที่ขึ้นมาสามไปมาดับกดอ right, right. so, right. so, right. right. so, ่ right. now I'm gonna write. All right, what's the first set of numbers? I'm gonna go back over. Where's my? I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna copy this. Copy, and I'm gonna put that over. Just so I I'm just going to put that there too, so I don't have another problem. All right, now let's try to run it. I have a breakpoint there. Click run, and it's going to say. Hmm. Well, I didn't print that. So anyway, I'm going to try to do this. If the first set of numbers, copy. The first set. Oh, I oh I think when I set the breakpoint, I must the breakpoint must have stayed up where it was. Remember, I pasted in that all that comment stuff. I'm gonna. Here's oh with the yeah, break because the breakpoint was started at seventeen, so yeah. I think you need to reset the break. I gotta reset the breakpoint. Okay. I want to take. I I I want to read everything in. Read everything in, and then I'm gonna. So I'm gonna stop it right here at 35. That's a good place to stop it. So I'll, so I'm gonna read everything in, and then um, okay. So run. Okay, enter the first set of numbers. It is this. Enter. Enter the second set of numbers. It says. Yes. All right. Where are we? We are. So this is what the. Uh, we have a, a num. Where's nums one? Okay. Oh, oh. We we've already converted. We've we've converted nums one, and we're sitting at thirty five. So we're just about ready to convert nums two. Yeah, we haven't converted nums three. So we printed out nums one. Now we're going to convert nums two. So let's. Uh, I'm going to set another breakpoint right here. Yeah, I'm going to set that breakpoint, and I'm going to go to the next breakpoint. Click. Huh? Why is it? Oh, maybe it's because it's 35 a breakpoint. Okay, now I'm sitting at 41. And uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna loop through nums one. Okay, and I'm gonna loop through nums one. So we're gonna see a variable called val over here. And oh, where's val equal thirty? How's val equal thirty already? Is val used someplace else? Ah, Val was used here. That's why Val. Okay, so let's come down here. We're going to use Val again down here. Let's go next step. Now Val is equal to five because five is the first one in num. So so Val is going to equal first five, and then it should equal ten, 
and then it should equal 15, and then it should equal 20. And the trouble is, is we aren't going to see it equal 20 because when 15 is gone, 20 is going to shift down. You know what I should do? I'm going to stop this. I'm going to add. Okay, so here we're at the top. 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm going to add um, uh, 40 or something. Okay. So, so what we will see is... Um, when 15 goes away, 20 is going to shift down to 15, 40 is going to shift down to 20, and then the next bow is going to end up grabbing 40 instead of 20. I, I, I think that's what we're going to see. So this will be 4 colon. This, this should be 4 colon 40. Okay, this is what it should look like. All right, so let's try this one. And the first set of numbers, and it's going to be these numbers here. Enter. Enter the second set of numbers, and it should be these numbers here. All right, and here we are. We've uh, converted nums one and we're going to start converting nums two now so let's just click and the next break point okay so let's go all the way to the next break point now we're sitting at 40 oh i guess we gotta skip skip skip, skip through the two three three Okay, now we are at 42, and now we're gonna start looping through Val. I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna do one step at a time now. And so now we have Val is equal to five. And now, because it's, it's this five, and now we're gonna see if Val is in nums two, click. Val is not in nums two, so the, the uh, part under, the, this part was skipped and we're back up to resetting val again, we haven't done that yet. Click, and now val is equal to 10. It's this one. Is 10 in nums? No, it's not. So now we're gonna go back up to the for loop again, and we're gonna set val equal to 15. There we go. Now val is equal to 15. Now we're gonna test if 15 is in nums too. It is. Next step. Ah, 15 is in nums too. So now we're down here, we're gonna execute number 44 and we're gonna print this deleting thing. So let's do that. Boom, there it is, deleting 15. Okay, we haven't deleted 15 yet. We just printed out that we're deleting 15. And now we're gonna delete 15 and we'll go back up to the for loop again. That's one more time. Okay, boom. Now 15 is gone. See, it's gone up here. And we're back up here and we're going to grab a new vowel. We're going to grab a new vowel and whoa, it's 40. We skipped 20 because 20 took the place of 15. So, really, what's going on inside here, really, what's going on inside there is there is an indexing thing. There is a, it's keeping track of an index because if you if you if you change the order or you know you 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 pull you you pull one of them out and all the ones up above it shift down you know that that index is when it comes back up to the for loop it's still going to you know increment to the next the next position so this this looping it still loops through you know internally it it, it it's keeping track of an index it's it's not just uh, you know it, it's not smart enough to know well, the 50, oh, it's not smart, smart enough to know, okay, I haven't tested 20 yet, you know, so anyway, that's very interesting. All right, what time is it? I hope that made some sense. I hope, yeah, I hope we learned something. All right, 
that's pretty interesting. Is that is that just what just happened? Is that we had that four numbers? That's mean like a lame, and it's still the same even though we're deleting the fifteen. So it's keeping the same four positions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's it uh it starts out looking at at this position, and then next next the next yeah. time. Okay. This position, and the next time in the for loop, it, it it looked at the third position, and there was a fifteen there. Yeah. Out that fifteen. Okay, fine. And then it looks at the next position, and then it's you know it's 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 forty because you know because twenty twenty went and took the fifteen place, and then yes, forty took the now is the twenty place. Yeah. Yeah. That's why that's that. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so anyway, let's uh, learn something new every day. So that's just changing the list size here, and that's what happens when you change the list size. Yeah, so you can cop like, copy all the elements of the list for for each item in, in the list, and this is the this is the index. This is indexing all of them because it starts at the beginning and ends at the end. Here's an example of that list modification thing where we're removing a value. So this probably just illustrates it again. All right. Um, so let's um, let's we've done eight eight point seven. Where are we? List comp oh list comprehensions. Okay, list comprehensions is 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 um, we we went over some of this last time where we. You know, you have all this, the, there's a for loop in there and for each one of those, you add five to it and that's, that creates a new list here. It's here's the list and that's, so this new list is, is this new list is created by looping through all the elements in this list and adding five to it, to each one. And that's what this new list is. That's, that's list comprehensions and, you know, that. This is the only language that I've ever I've ever seen anything like this. Um, so here's so there's there's the regular way you do it in every other language, and then there is this fancy uh, list comprehension way of doing it, which uh, you know after a while, after you get used to it and it makes sense, um, you know you you probably would get very comfortable writing it writing these things this way, uh, as opposed to doing it like manually this way, where you actually make the for loop there and you actually do, you know, do things one at a time. And, and when you're done, the list is done. Here, the for loop is there and for each one you do this and then that's what gets stored in there. Um, so anyway, uh, so, so I don't, I personally don't think this is that important. But it's kind of interesting to know this, and, and of course you get points by doing this. And there could even very well be a uh, uh, challenge activities and so on. You can try to do that. <clears throat> you should you should do that. But let's uh, let's start to do uh, do some of these labs here. All right, eight point sixteen. Uh, Uh, let's go to here, 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 here. Copy all this. Man, there's no, there's no um, starting code. Statistics are often calculated with varying amounts of data. Write a program that takes any number of integers as input and outputs the average and max. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> let me see what the what the book says. This is eight sixteen. Okay, well, anyway, um, so we're going to read inputs until what? Did you say? How do we know if I'm going to input? Um, all right. Uh, I guess we just got to wing it. Okay, so first of all, we're going to read in a string. So uh, input string equals input, okay? And then we're gonna split them, split them up. Uh, and we're gonna call them uh, string tokens, tokens. They like tokens. Tokens equals input string uh, dot split on nothing. And then we're gonna do, um, we gotta convert them to Going to convert them to integers. So we can do um, um, integers. Integers equals, I'm going to do a list, try to do a list comprehension. Int i uh, four. I in tokens. Is that a list comprehension? I'm not getting any squigglies. Print integers. Run. What's it waiting for? Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, enter. Oh, look at here, it worked. I'm so smart. Okay, that's enough of the hint. And we know that works. So now I'm gonna do, uh, <clears throat> Uh, let's see. I got to sum them up, right? Um, and then I got to divide by the number. Oh, I, I need to do the sum and the max value. The average and the max. The average and the max value. Okay, so. Um, all right, so let's. So what do we do? Do in this case, do we take the total and sub? And it's divided to the length. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. So, but I got to find the max too. So, um, for um, uh, number in for each number in integers, uh, I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna say uh, max value max val equals num of zero. Let me just start with that, whatever. And then I'm gonna say four num in integers. Uh, oh, I gotta sum them up too. Sum val equals zero. And now I'm gonna do um, four num in integers, sum val, Add to some val num, and uh, if a num is greater than max val, then max val equals num. Right? Yeah. See that? 
Um, yes, I'm trying to follow it. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I don't see where the line 21, I don't see why is there. Some, oh, that's a sum, okay. So do you want to add it all up? Yeah, okay. And then, uh, so the the average is going to be sum val divided by the length of num. Okay. It's going to equal to sum val divided by the length of num. That's the number of elements in num. And uh, and then you you have you have max val. Okay, so let's um let's trace this let's trace this through. Okay? Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna also I'm gonna say okay good idea. Uh, so let's, uh, okay, now this isn't going to print anything out. Okay, I'll leave this for you to figure out how to print it out, but let's trace through it. Let's trace through it to see that it works. Uh, I'm going to set a breakpoint. Um, ah, what the heck. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm just going to, um, I'll set the breakpoint here. I'll, I'll I'll skip all this this uh, I'll skip stepping through the um, the you know the, the this creation creating of the thing. What are those things called again? I just can't. I don't uh, comprehensions. They're very comprehensive, I guess. I just want to put it that way. Okay, so let's just run this. And enter a bunch of integers with spaces. And, okay, so I'm going to do uh, um, 20, um, 10, uh, 30, uh, 25, and um, 20. Oh, it's 20, um, 10. 30, uh, 25, yeah, that's enough. All right, and we did a list comprehension, blah, 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 printed it out, and now we have, um, these are the tokens, and these are the integers. So you see that's, that somehow took all those tokens and made integers, and now we have this list of integers. This is what the input string looked like, and now we're about to set, uh, initialize, max value equal to the first one, the first integer. Wait a second. Oh, oh, num, 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 integers. Where did num come from? Where did num come from? I am very stupid. This, look at that squiggly. Uh, I call them num. Oh, no, never mind. This is okay. Okay, so this has just got to be integers. This sets max value equal to the first integer in the list. And now I'm using num there to loop through. Okay, so I don't know why I put it like that. I just think I was getting ahead of myself. All right, let's start over again. Um, <clears throat> 20, 10, 30, 25. Again, we made the comprehension, and now we're going to do um, next one, and we've set max val equal to the first one, just, just to initialize it so it's something, and we're going to set um, sum val equal to zero, as it is, and then we're going to loop through, and first num is going to equal to 20, then it's going to equal to 10, then it's going to equal to 30, then it's going to equal to 25, so let's start with this, and num is now equal to 20. And now we're going to add it to sum val. Sum val is equal to zero. So we're going to execute this. And we end up adding 20 to sum val. And now sum val is equal to 20. <coughs> is num greater than num val? 
Well, the first time through, num is equal to num val. It's the same one. So, you know, this that's going to fail. And that's why we're back up to line 20 again, because this if failed. So now we're up to, back up to line 20. And now num is going to be equal to the next one, which is 10. And uh, then we're going to add 10 to sum val. And now sum val is equal to 30. And now we're going to take the next one. And we tested if if 10 is greater than max value was 20. Is 10 greater than 20? No, it's not. So we skip back up to num again, or to line 20. And now, now num is going to get a new value of this value here. It's misleading that this is the same. And so now uh, num val, now num, this new num here is equal to 30. So now we're going to add 30 to sum val, and we should get 60. So there it is. Sum val is equal to 60. And now we're going to test if 30 is greater than whatever max val was. What's max val? It's 20. So this should, this if should be true. And now we're down here, and we're going to execute line 23. And max val is going to get a new value. And max val is now going, to, now going to get 30. And so, boom, now max val is equal to 30. And we're back up to here and we're going to get the last num. And so now num is going to be equal to 25. And we're going to add 25 to sum val. And we get now sum val is 85. And is num greater than max val? No, it's not. So it's going to go back up to the top here, and it's going to, and then it's going to realize that it's at the end. There's no more integers. So then it's going to skip down to this average line, and it skips down to the average line, and um, it will execute this. And we're not going to see the result because it's going to, it's going to end. And we get an error. Why we get an error? I did it again. This should have been integer, right? Right? It should have been the length of the integer. So this should be integer, integers. Right? right? It's it's the length of this array. And uh, so then at the end we can do pass or something. Okay. So. So I'm gonna quickly run this one more time just so we can see that ending thing. Actually, I don't think I will. It's it's 223. I'll 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 leave it for you to run this, but the code is here. And so let's let's go back and do the next one. But but basically now this should work. Oh, we can just do this. Play it. Do this. 20. Uh, 35, 12, uh, 60. Oh, I still left my breakpoint. Why don't think it's calculated? Uh... Oh, oh, that's right. I'm not printing anything out. That's why. That's the problem. So, so I have to run. I, 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 I wrote this. Uh, yeah. So, so, so when we break point through, we see that we see the average is calculated. Then I'm going to leave it up to you to print out the two pictures. Yeah. But also the, um, how do you not do? Do you want the number to print out with, uh, not in a list and not a comma? So I think. Okay. So yeah. Yep. We're 16, we have to, is that where I have to change it? Line 16? Because you see the output only once say 10 and 20, but not in that kind of list. Um, um, integers is, is just an internal array that you're going to use to calculate the, to, 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 to calculate the 10 and to figure out the 20. So, it's not here. Um, it's actually um, it's it's actually down here where you print. You know, it's oh, I I see. I, I see. Yes. Here, and then you're gonna print something. I... So you'll 
you know, you'll, well, you can just print them both. Like you just print, you know, print, print the average comma mats and that's all. Yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 yes, I see the mistake there. I see, I see my mistake because I, I put in, I wrote the wrong, when I made, you know, when the, your, your uh, variable have to be the same throughout. Right. I misspelled it, so it didn't make it. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I see it. Yeah, I, and, and and my mistake is I was, you know, num is, is, the, is one integer as you're going through this list of integers, and the whole list itself is called integers, and so I was mixing the two. All right, so that's there, and let's go back to let's go back to where we were. Uh, our lab here. Um, we just done. Let's do the next one. Two eight seventeen. Let's uh, copy this. Copy, and let's go back to here, and let's create a new REPL. Boom. And let's go back here and copy all this. Okay. And did they give us any starter code? They did not. Okay. Uh, you write a program that gets a list of integers from input and outputs a non outputs non negative integers in ascending order. Write a write a program that gets a list of integers from input and then outputs non-negative integers in ascending order. Wow. Hmm. Well, I know how I would do it. Uh, there's lots of ways you can do this. I'll just do one way I can think of. All right. First of all, let's get our list. Uh, Input string equals input uh, enter list of integers. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to make them um, make them the kind um, um, uh, let's see. integers integer list equals I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that complicated thing uh, int of uh, T for token um, Or T in uh, input string dot um, split. How's that? How's that for, for combining a whole bunch of stuff into one line? Let's see if it works. Is, is this confusing? Are 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 complications are are they confusing to you, kind of still? Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> but okay. but I, I it's just me. I well, I just a little bit slower. So uh, let's not do that. Then. All right. Yes. Tokens equals input string. 
got split. <clears throat> and then we're going to go, why does it do that? <clears throat> uh, four T in tokens. Um, I got to make a new, very, a new thing. I'm going to call integer list equals, I do that, yeah? So initial, initializing, okay. Uh, and I'm going to do integer, oh, um, uh, integer Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, oh, oh. I'm only going to put, okay, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to take advantage of the sort method, which I was not going to do. I was going to actually do it manually. But I'm going to take advantage of the sort method. And the only integers I'm going to put, the only tokens I'm going to put in this list are positive numbers because it's supposed to be just positive numbers, right? A non-negative number. So it's got to be zero or greater. So I'm going to say integer list uh, is, oh, no, no. If, uh, if, um, no, I got, I got to convert it to token first. Uh, int, integer of t is equal to int t and then it's int t that i really want to say how does it do that and uh so and then i'm going to do um if int of t is greater than or equal to zero, then, into, then appended onto integer list. Okay. So now I've got all of the integer, or now I've got all of the integers in the list in there, uh, all the non-negative integers in the list, and the last thing I have to do is sort this list. When I'm all done, I got to sort the list. So it's it's when I'm all done with the for loop, then I got to sort the list. And how do you sort a list? So you say sort or you say dot sort, um, uh, Python sort a list. I think it's dot sort. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, like that. So, um, uh, so you know, I'm okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do print um, integer this that sort. And I'll let you uh, take it from there. Uh, so let's try to run this and see what happens. Enter a list of integers. 10 minus 7 or 39 minus 6, 12, and 2. None. <clears throat> <laughs> I cannot do. Uh, and, and okay. Print token. No, let's uh, let's 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 use the debugger. Let's use the debugger. I'm gonna stop it right here. And we have tokens. Okay, so here's what the thing looks like. And uh, now we got tokens, which looks like that. 
And then we looped through all the T's and tokens, and we got a, um, we're going to be going about to enter the for loop, and T is going to be 10. Okay, and now, so we've got T equal 10, and then we're going to make an int T equal the integer of T. Oh, look, and now it's equal to 10. And if int T is greater than or equal to zero, it is. So append it on the integer list, and integer list has got 10 in it. Okay, um, do 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 do. Now it's got, oh, where am I gonna get down? Oh, that's because it was seven was negative, so it's not gonna do anything with seven. Uh, but um, four is not, four is positive, so it should add four. Uh, there it is, now four's on there. 39 should be added on there. Okay, 39 is added on there, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add another breakpoint, and it, so it seems to be adding adding it in there correctly. So I'm gonna set another breakpoint right here, and so I'm gonna run it all the way to that breakpoint. And so we have the integer list, and it's all positive. That's nice. It's nice when it's all positive. And then now, for some reason, there's something wrong with that down with this down here. So let's see what happens. So um, uh, let's see what, what's the problem. I know what I did wrong. Look. Can, can you explain from there? I mean, what, what did we do wrong? Uh, I, I see we had to listen there. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> this. Um, okay. Um, here, here. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Say, let's say, um, print, print integer list. First, I'm going to print integer list. Okay, integer list. And I, I'm going to tell you that's what I'm going to print. Okay, and then um, and then I'm gonna go like this. Uh, X equals integer list dot sort. Okay, and then I'm gonna say um, print uh, X. And then I'm gonna say, uh, print integer list again. Um, let's see. All right, I hope the all right, I hope. Uh, I hope this explains it. Okay, so so let me run this again. Um, and instead of and I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Instead of having to type this in, I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to comment this out. That way, I don't have to bother typing. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to take away this breakpoint, and I'm going to run it. Okay, so 
So, so we've run it and now we're sitting at line 23. We're sitting down here. We, we, we've run everything else above it. And so that's why we have our, our full list of tokens that we typed, that we entered in this. The tokens are all there. Uh, the last T we looked at was this one, the last one in the list. That's the last value for T, which was, which was this thing. And that means the last value for int of T is the value two. And, um, and that two was actually appended onto the integer list, which is this, T10, 4, 39, 12, two. And, and now we're down here at line 23 and we're gonna execute line 23, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, is, is we're gonna print out integer list just as it is, okay? You know, before we sort it. Okay, so let's print, let's do that. And boom, now this is inter integer list before it's sorted. Now, remember before we actually tried to print integer list dot sort? Remember yes, that? yes. Well, that's the same as setting X equal to integer list dot sort. Yes, now we just got X because X already sorted. Yes, yes. Now, problem is, so X is nothing. Oh. Okay. Look, X, it's printed, is nothing. But integer list is what's sorted. So now when we print integer list, we see that it's sorted. Okay, so the point, so what we should see this is that, is this, this is not, a function which returns a value. This, this does not return the sorted list. This actually takes that list and sorts it and leaves it alone. It's not, it yes. doesn't return anything. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so that's yes. what- So unless another word is that if X already have a list, then it will sort. But otherwise right now, it, it doesn't have a, a list of numbers to sort. Because well, it's, it's, it's isn't that mean at that time it's it's not sorting a list because yeah yeah this um it, it's it, uh, it it's a this this method um applies to whatever this is yes and and um um it's you know it, and and as far as returning see so so uh, the point kind of the point is here is um um. When we want to sort the integer list, let's take it all this out of here. When we want to sort the integer list, we just put this there. We just put this there. We don't say something equals that because this isn't, you know, this isn't, you know, displaying a value. This yes. isn't returning a value. This isn't returning anything. It's just doing something to the list. And yes. And it could say I'm done, or it could say, uh, you know, um, true, you know, meaning successful, or let's say it's false, it returns a false or something. I don't know. It may, maybe it be, would return false if there was if the list was empty or you know, I don't know. But but um, but yeah. So so that's the difference between methods that that you see that just sit there all all by themselves and they're not there's no equal sign or okay. So that that method. Is doing something to the thing that it's attached to, whereas uh, now there's. I, I, I thought there was another way to sort Python. I thought there was another sort of sort method that uh, sorted. Sorted is that a, sorted might actually return something. This is. Ah yes, okay, okay, okay. So 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 if, if we want to do it that other way, we can we use the sorted method. So um, we can say print sorted. Let's stop this. Let's stop. Let's get this. Um, print sorted integer list. Okay. Okay, so sorted actually does return something. So, so um, you know, we can do uh, 
Okay, so, so here I, I, I'm printing out sorted in integer list, and then I'm gonna print out, a, I'm gonna print out integer list again. Okay, here, let's do this. First, I'm gonna print out integer list. First, I will print out integer list. Okay, and then I'll print out, then I'll print out, uh, maybe this. I'll print out integer list.sorted. Okay. Um, sorted. Um, I want to print out. Um, Why does it say X is not there? What? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. Because I, I thought you took out X. And it's still thought, printed out on the console. There's still x equal to none. It will. Uh, I, I'm um, if it, yeah. I, I, let's see. Let me finish this. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, print x equals. I'll do this. X equals this. X equals this. Y equals I can't still sick or something. Uh, print Uh, I'm going to make sure. All right, I got to, um, I'm supposed to, uh, okay, and I'm going to get rid of all this. All right, so, so I just want to show you, uh, I don't need this. Okay, I'm going to print on your list. I'll get rid of this too. So this, this should be something. All right, um, and let me just um, let me just run it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, all right, I'm going to put this first. Uh, print okay so print integer list y equals that print y um, and print integer list is still going to be the same then do this uh, and x doesn't do anything but when you print integer list after doing that x is going to print integer list does end up all right so let's so, so I'm going to just run this. Okay, so um, this was integer list, okay? That's this one. Okay, so this is line 23. It's that one here. And then we, we created a new list called Y, and Y is a sorted, val sorted uh, integer list. And so that, is, so that is what we were trying to do before. Okay, kind of, you know? Okay, so, so this actually creates a new list and it's gonna be the sorted version of this. When we print out integer list again, it's, it still hasn't changed, okay? Y, y is the sorted list, but integer list is still the same as it was before. See, so, 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 so even though we did, even though we executed this, even though we executed this, 
And we got a sorted list out of that. That's this Y here. Uh, when we print out the integer list again, it's, it's still not sorted. Y is sorted, but the integer list stays the same. Now, let's do this thing where we do that, okay? Now, that actually sorts integer list, but it does not return anything. You know, you know this, this does not sort integer list, but it actually returns the integer list. This thing, you know, Hopefully. get it? Is it, are you following? Or am I, am I too deep down into the bit? No, that's okay. I, I'll, I'll come back and watch the video again. I know we're running out of time, but I started to get lost now. <laughs> Okay. But um, I think I, I follow it and then we, we yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost where it's stored, it's stored it and it is not sorted. And that's the part that I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Why is sorted? That's line 24 actually sorted. Yeah, yeah. Well, and yeah. then it's not sorted again. Well, no, because uh, why is still sorted. But, but uh -huh. here, here, here. But we, the we, integer we, list is not sorted. Why yeah. is that? Well, because because we didn't sort integer list, we 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 took we, we took the integer list, um, and then we made a copy of it, and then we sorted that, and then that was what y is. But integer list, list stays the same. See this 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 does not change what's inside of it. So does that mean we need to put integer list equal sorted? Well, that would work. Before? Yeah, work. you know, like instead of Y, we just we put integer that. list. You could do that, okay? You know, or if or if it's just inter or if it's just integer list we want sorted, then then we just do this. We just do this sitting all by itself. We, we don't, you know, we aren't. I mean, yeah, you know, we just do that, and and that does it. See this? Oh. See. This? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just going to do it to itself, you see. This, yes. this, this doesn't do anything to integer list. It's uh, uh. an operand and, and then, you know, it creates something new from integer list, but it, but it leaves integer list alone. See, that's, mm -hmm. that's a different, there's two ways of sorting. You can use this sort function, which takes a list, you know, leaves it alone, but takes it and sorts it and passes passes back a sorted list uh -huh. or if you just want to sort the list itself and 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 you don't need to create a new version or anything we just want to take it and sort it and then use it from then on sorted then you just do this you just use the sort oh. method which is a which is a method that's part of the part of the list class so now we can take our line 28 because we don't need x there oh, yeah 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 i was just doing all this to Try to yeah, I see. I, I I think yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a good way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> now I have a I have a question. Is that you know when this list prints out is print in a bracket, a square bracket and comma. How do we get it so that it doesn't print out that way? We need to return in mutable or like a. No. 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 Like, no. No. You do a loop for. Uh, uh, you know, I uh, in uh, integer list, integer list, um, uh, print um, I comma end equals space or something. Oh, 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 now, now, I, now I remember that. Something like that. That's, that's going to print a space at the end, but, but yeah, so. Yes, I, 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 I remember now. I, I remember this part. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's too, this, this, all this little TD work. And if I, I just sometimes I miss something and I just sit there and I wonder what <laughs> why it's not running. Okay. It's well. Yes. Okay. And now now I remember. Yes. If we print it now, it will come out. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness.
Oh, what a what a what a day that I learned. I learned my mistake now because sometimes I forget. That's how we get it into a different list rather than in a bracket. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's how you get. This this feature, you know, this feature of of being able just to just to have just to print print that print this thing and it's a list or you just yes. it's a dictionary. That's not you don't see that you don't see that in other languages. In other languages, you can only print like a string or a value and 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 you say print a list it's this is I, I don't know what to do with this this is a oh, oh. Error, error. you know you gotta separate you gotta you you always have to do something like this you know i mean even if you want to print something out like this in some other language you actually print the bracket then you print the numbers to stick the commas in it you know? so, all right very good um thank you so much Okay, and so I will see you probably Saturday. Yes, thank you so much. Thank okay. you, Professor. Yeah. Sure. Have a good day. Thank you, you too.